Okay, so we're gonna do some more stretches. Um, just a little bit more for that flexibility. All right, so today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get about 10 minutes in of just some flexibility, mobility movements. We wanna work on this back area here. This is where there's, if you've got some tightness in here and just overall tightness in your back um, and your hip area, your hips and your back, your lower back area, there's tightness or just, you know, just stiff. That stiffness is what I'm working towards trying to get rid of. So, that's not, I'm not going to keep on talking. Let's just go on and get right into it, okay? So, first, we're just going to do some, some round outs, right? We're going to do full circles, right? Wide body, so we're going to have our arms out extended. And then, next, what we're going to do is you're going to go all the way around. We're doing 360 turns, okay? See that? We're doing a whole entire 360s. All right, now look. All y'all know, all this right here, this all this right here, child. Hmm. We working on getting rid of that, okay? But first things first, we need to go ahead and get some mobility. This is number four. We're going to do eight, all right? Here's number five. I'm going nice and slow. We'll pick it up later. Six. Here's number seven. If you notice, I'm using my whole body because I am stiff. So until it gets a little bit looser, then I'll go ahead and stop using so much of the body. But I am just looking for, at this moment, just movement. All right? You do what's comfortable for you, what you feel comfortable with. All right? We were done about eight. All right? Now, maybe a one or two more than eight, but shh, don't tell nobody. Now, we're going to do that same movement, but instead of the wide hip turn, we're going to bring it in just a little bit more, right? So we're going down to the medium. We have large, now we're going to do mediums. You see how I'm just going here? Now you can go ahead and keep your arms here and do it. I'm still using most of the body. But now I'm going to bring it out. That's four. Here we go. Here's five, six, seven. If you need to put a little bend to your knees, that's okay. Eight. Whatever works. You just want that movement. You should be feeling it in the small of your back, back here. Two. There's number three. Second set. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. All right. Now we're going to tighten that up. All right. Now we're just going to go straight right in and in. All hip movement. You don't need to do the full rotation with your body bringing it around. We've done two sets. Uh, with that, from the large and to the medium, we're going to do our smalls. We're going to go right on in. We're just rolling the hips, just like that. Full circle, okay? Back, side, front. Side, back, side, front. Okay? So we're going to do it again. And we're just going to do some motion to it, like that. More. Okay, good. We're going to do eight of these. All right? Here we go. This is number four. Number five, good. Six, seven, and eight. You should feel that going up your back, like back in here. You know, you should start feeling it going up and down this way, and you should feel it across. All right? Now, again, if you need to bend your knees a little bit to do it, do so. Do whatever it is to make you comfortable. It's actually a little bit more comfortable. You want us to do another eight. We're going to bend the knee into just like a little semi-squat. We're not squatting all the way down. We're gonna do a semi-squat. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Let's go the other way. One, two, three, four. See, I'm more stiff. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm definitely more stiff going to the left. That's what I'm noticing. How are you? Are you stiff more on one side more than the other? All right. Now, we're going to do some hunches. All right? You guys remember these ones. So we're going to do is we're going to turn to the side right here. You can go to your left side or your right side. It doesn't matter. You're going to now take, open your legs up a little bit. No more than shoulders, no more than shoulders width. Okay? And so your hands are going to go to the front. And you're going to curl over. 
like you're bending down to pick up something. So your hands should be about your knees right about now. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees, okay? Now curl your back up. All right, hold it and bring your back down. Extend the butt out. You see how I'm poking it up? And again, let's curl it back up. Good. And let's extend it back out. Oh, you feel that? Did you feel that? Curl back up. Extend it out. You see how I brought my hands up higher on my thighs? Okay, so what we're doing now is you're stretching those back muscles. You're going to go to what's comfortable to you. Do not overexert yourself more than what's comfortable. If you feel sharp pain or something that's, oh, like, ow, ow, like I feel a whole bunch of pain, then stop. That move ain't for you yet. You'll get there. It's just not right now. Okay? So you'll work on modifying it. If all you can do is this, then that's it. Until you work on that little stiffness and you start working it out. So let's do some rotations. We're going to do some hip rotations again. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Upside. We go another direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, some of y'all been doing that for a minute. <laughs> All right. Now, let's do some, a little bit of more flexibility. You can grab a chair. Uh, ignore my dog. He's mad because I put him up. And he, 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 he has a problem when he gets that down. So, I'm going to hold on to either a wall, a chair, whatever you choose to balance yourself with is just fine. So, you're just going to go up. Up. That's it. We're just going to lift this leg up. Lift it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Now, you should probably even, you might even hurt mine, <laughs> doing a little popping or whatever it's doing in the hip areas. But it's because, like I said, I need to open up my hips. I need to open up my back. I need a lot. So... I am just starting my journey. Um, I'm, I invite you to join the journey with me. Um, I am just now getting it going and decide to record some of these videos. So, now let's work on shoulder tightness. So we're gonna roll our shoulders back. Right it, oh, that felt good. Back again, we're gonna do eight. That's two, y'all. Three. Oh, how's yours feeling? Four. Oh, that's good. Five. Ooh, is your body popping and making noises? Six. <laughs> there we go. Seven. Come on. We got one more on this one. And then we're going to go with eight. Very good. Now, what's our back shoulder rolls? Let's go forward. Same thing, just forward. One. Oh, that feels good, y'all. Two. Mmm, that doesn't feel good. Three. All right. Four. We're going to go to eight. Five. Yeah. Bring that on out. Six. Oh. Seven. I just needed to work it out. Now, for those of you who have shoulder injuries, any upper arm injuries or anything like that, maybe your, your upper back and there's pain, do what feels good for you. If you feel pain when you're doing this, don't go so high. If the highest you can go is here, just do shoulder lifts like this. If you can't do the full rotation, go as far as you can before you feel pain. So if you just need to go forward half moon, just you can do that. See, you can go up, forward, and back. You can go up, forward, and back. You don't have to go all the way around. So we're gonna do again. You're gonna go up and back, and up and back. Where you should feel this is, is in here, right in here, top shoulder. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and do some arms because. You see those little wings right there? That right there. Ain't nobody friend. So what we're going to do is we're going to step back a little bit. Your arms up in the air. Put them to your head. Right? You can go back. 
and you can put your arms like here, you can feel it, put up a stretch. So what I have my hands done now is with this back here like this. See? Just paste on the back. And just this alone, by itself with the stretch, will do a little wing in, just like that. And now open that chest up. Bring them in. Open up that chest. Oh, bring them in. Open up that chest. Bring it in. Open up that chest. Oh. Arms down and keep the chest extended. You see how my chest is still extended? Oh, because this is an amazing stretch. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now, come on, let's just stretch this out a little bit. Now, what I want to do is I'm really kind of feeling a little something in my hip area. Oh, that's why I want to do that, okay? So, we're going to do some side stretches. So, right hand down, left hand up, and we're just going to slowly take it over. As far as you can go, that's comfortable. Try to get a good stretch in. Oh, go as far as you can. Right, we're gonna go ahead and do this side. Let me step back a little bit. All right, over. Oh. Because I'm very stiff, so I'm really stiff on this side, you guys. On both sides with this exercise, I'm noticing that stiffness. So I'm gonna do the best I can for now. I'm gonna do the uncle. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, so I'm just gonna go here. I'm going to give it a good stretch here, little by little, and each day when I do a stretch, I will show improvement. I'll be able to go a little further. All right. If you can't go that far, that's okay. That's okay. There's people who can go way further than me, and I'm cool with that because eventually I'll get there. That's my starting point. If you can't, so how can we modify that stretch? So if the best that you can do is maybe just going here. Maybe you can't do the overarm reach. Maybe that's bothering you. Or maybe not a full overarm. Can you do a half overarm reach? So take your arm and place it on top of your shoulder like this. And then do a stretch this way. All right. The main thing is we want to stretch this. So let's stretch here. All right. Same thing to the other side. Arm on shoulder and bend it down. Now, we're gonna go ahead and bend. Now, disclaimer. <laughs> now, bending, when you've got a front belly, when, you, when you've got a, a belly that pokes out, okay, you're, gonna, you're not gonna bend as well as you think you would like to because that belly gonna get in your way. So if it's the case, that's okay. We're working on it, right? Do what you can. So we're gonna go ahead and bend. We're just gonna take this down at your pace, all right? We're just going, going, going until we, it's as long as it's comfortable. Now, if it start hurting, stop. When you feel a good stretch in the back of your thighs, you feel a little pull and a nice stretch, not pain at all, but a little pull and stretch, and it feels kind of good, but you know if you go any further, it won't feel good, that's as far as you go. All right, hold that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now, do not get back up fast. Slowly bring yourself back up. All right. Yep. It's because you don't want to come up fast after we got our butt down there like that and get lightheaded. Okay. Come back up slow. Now, let's go back down one more time. Come on. Come on with me. We're going on down there. Lord, let us get back up. <laughs> all right we're good i got a good little stretch right there all right we're holding it three two one slowly bring that back on up okay all right this is not high impact what we're doing is just simple flexibility and movements now let's stretch our waist so here is what we're going to try to do we're going to try to go over here like this Go to the other side, y'all. Come on. Just a little twist. 
again, if you feel some pain, stop. All right. There. Now. Hips. So now, if you have issues in your hips and you might have arthritis in your hips, you might have tenderness in your hips, you may have some other things going on up in there, you could have hip replacements. So what you want to do is you want to do what's comfortable for you, work at your pace. So we're just going to do some rotating hip dips. Well, not really hip dips, uh, just shimmies. I'm going to call them little hip shimmies. You're going to shake one side to the other. One side to the other. That's it. Okay, now, if you notice, when I'm going here, I'm going side like that. You see how the leg right here is coming out a little bit. Looks, it's like a, hey, I'm posing. Like, hey, I'm posing. Hey, I'm posing. That's what we're doing, okay? So we're just going to go one. And we're going to go two. And we're going to go one. Mm -hmm. Strike a pose. And two. Strike a pose. Ready? Hey. Let's see. I'm going to do another one. Hey, okay, wait. Why the camera go the wrong way? Why I'm looking the wrong way? <laughs> All right, so those are just some stretches. Now, let's get a good, nice, and tall. Oh, that feels so good, y'all. That feels so good. Oh, I'm trying to make my back as long as possible. Oh, oh. now, oh, and disclaimer. I am nobody's doctor. I ain't studied at nobody medical school nowhere. I am not a fitness instructor. I am not a trainer. I am just a regular, beautiful woman. Okay? And I'm doing things that are helping me to feel good and stretch and work out some of that flexibility and mobility and my pace and what feels right for my body. And I want you to do the same thing for your. I encourage you to do the same for yours. Only do what feels right. If you've got some issues going on with your body that I don't know nothing about, don't do it. Take care of you first, okay? Follow your doctor's orders for whatever they told you to do. You follow that. I'm just sharing with you what I'm doing. You're more than welcome to join me if you choose to, all right? So that's all I have for today, guys. I had a cool little, we was working about 17 minutes. We're going to do some stuff. For the rest of the day, I want you to make sure you try to stay mobile, stay moving. If it's just a little walk, it's fine. Instead of maybe taking the elevator, take the stairs if you can. If you do, if you take the elevator and you gotta walk back to your next spot, walk the long way. All right. Instead of just sitting, if you sit all day at work, get up frequently, take water breaks. Go get you some more water in your cup. Go on and drink it. If you can't leave your desk. Flip your feet up and down like this at your desk. Do your feet like that. When you're sitting, just go up, flex them up, pop them down. Flex them up, pop them down. Just get some circulation going on up in there. And for all our girls, we up here in that uh, 50 plus club, baby. Yeah, that stiff can come looking for you. It comes looking for you. All right, you just keep on moving. All right, do what feels good. And your body will catch up with you when you start getting some of that stiffness out. All right? I can't wait for mine to do it. Because I'm not appreciating that stiffness, honey. So, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you stay tuned and come back tomorrow. And let's go ahead and go for it again tomorrow. Until then, I'll see you later, beauties.